The checkmate from Russia could capture the American king and raise the entire Chinese chessboard to the ground. The checkmate is a 5th gen fighter that some would argue qualifies as 6th gen instead. And with the lineup of futuristic tech on the fighter, that argument is a solid one. So in this video, we take a detailed look at this aircraft that has quickly reminded the world of the undeniable might of Russia. The Checkmate, known officially as Su-75, is one aircraft Russia is crazy about. It was unveiled at the 2021 MAX Air Show with President Vladimir Putin in attendance, where it proved to work as advertised. Since then, Russia posted another glut of promotional material. The short film features an earnest Russian Air Force commander with ominous music that shows an antique chessboard. The solution, he says, is to turn the board over and become a ghost. Kind of Hollywood material. Nevertheless, the Checkmate is expected to take on the American Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II of similar light to medium weight class. The Russian machine is expected to have its maiden flight in 2023 with initial deliveries arriving between 2026 and 2027, and the first buyers will be the United Arab Emirates, India, and Vietnam. It is a fighter unique in more ways than one, with its relatively low cost being the first on the list. A $25 million price tag makes it more than three times cheaper than the F-35 Lightning II. So what makes it so unique? Sukhoi threw an indirect verbal jab at Lockheed Martin when they announced that their fifth-generation Checkmate fighter could sustain supersonic flight far longer than the F-35 could, which is only about 50 seconds. Whether Lockheed Martin had no cheeky reply or was just not keen on joining the rap battle initiated by Sukhoi remains a mystery. But one thing remains certain. There isn't much they could have said in response. The Checkmate has simply got it all. It features the most powerful Russian jet engine ever produced. The NPO Saturn is Del I-30, which is the same engine found on the Su-57. This engine comes with 30% lower specific weight than its closest rival, the AL-41F1, making it 18% more effective, with an estimated thrust of 24,000 pounds dry and 38,600 pounds with afterburner. And there's more wonder in store from this engine. It has thrust vectoring capabilities. This means the engine can rotate significantly enough to simultaneously control both the horizontal and vertical direction of the jet. The result of this is a fighter capable of 8G maneuvers, switching direction in a fraction of a second to dance circles around the opposition, as if to offer a complimentary show before taking them out of the sky. And combined with being fitted on a light to medium weight aircraft, the Saturn Istalai 30 engine can get the fighter off the runway in a short time and an even shorter distance since its vectoring engine can provide upward thrust the second it hits the asphalt. And then there's the stealth, good old stealth to make an aircraft virtually invisible in the sky. The Checkmate takes this to new heights, literally, as a major part of its stealth capabilities is flying high enough to evade radars that don't have the most impressive range. The jet is capable of flying higher than 40,000 feet, 14% higher than the standard flying altitude of the highly efficient Boeing 747. The stealth of the Checkmate fighter is then amplified by a hybrid wing body, a V-shaped tail for suitable cross-sectional area, internal weapons bay to shield easy-to-spot weapons, and finally, an improved jet engine intake with lighter mechanical systems. In addition to these, the fighter can do some detective activity of its own with its ultra-sensitive low probability of intercept LPI radar. The Checkmate also boasts of a 1700 mile range in one go, meaning it can go one-fifth around the world without having to refuel, potentially signaling that the aircraft carriers might not be the top priority for Russia. And evasive as it is, the Checkmate is also an offensive damage-dealing machine. The fighter can stomach up to 7 tons of guided and unguided munitions with a balanced diet of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and anti-ship missiles. And as a result, can engage and destroy 6 targets at once. 
In addition to its brute and defensive capabilities, the Checkmate, like its name loosely hints, is an intelligent machine. It can share data on the go with other fighter jets on its team. This keeps every member on the Russian fleet in action abreast of the whole battlefield situation in detail. As intelligence has, over the century, proven to give it an advantage to whichever side wields it, these data sharing capabilities give Russia some leverage over virtually every other country but the United States, which has similar intelligence capabilities in the F-35. But Russia takes this one lead-all tactic to new depths. Their fighter will come in manned and unmanned versions, opening up the possibility to have one manned checkmate controlling several unmanned versions in battle, significantly cutting down on casualty rates. The checkmate is clearly taking up the heavy mantle of being in the front lines of conflict and its physical size proves it can handle the weight. The fighter has a large tank to hold sufficient fuel to bring its proposed impossible range to reality. A major selling point for the fighter seeing as foreign countries, including India, Argentina, and Vietnam, are already showing interest in spending some huge numbers to acquire the aircraft. For an aircraft with its price tag, the Checkmate is looking like an unreal task that would be impossible to believe if it hadn't already proven itself at the Vladimir Putin-graced air show. Surely, news of the fighter has entered US borders and roundtable talks concerning Russia's intentions. And most likely, talks are underway to determine how to best respond to a powerful fifth-generation fighter capable of tilting the scales in Russia's favor. The US military is known for having the best responses to potential threats, and they're not about to disappoint. They have some game-changing technologies of their own to unveil. Northrop Grumman has been developing the sixth-generation American fighter jet in the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, program, which on paper seems to be able to take on any challenge thrown at it. The US Air Force and Navy have separate NGAD programs of their own, but with the same goal, to develop a sixth-generation family of systems fit for whatever mission, manned or unmanned. But recognizing that the sixth generation of systems is still years away, the US is also ensuring that its fifth generation fighters aren't losing global air superiority to the competition. The first fifth generation fighter in the world, the F-22 Raptor, is being upgraded to match today's battle requirements. This was made clear when an F-22 was captured by aviation photographer Santos Caceres, taking to the skies in Nevada in November 2021. The fighter was covered in a tile-like reflective metallic coating that is unlike anything ever seen before on an F-22. A new skin would quite often relate to massive changes in an aircraft, since the stealth capabilities of modern aircraft are directly dependent on how many radar waves they can bounce off or capture in it. In terms of weapons upgrades, it wouldn't be a shock to see the upgraded F-22s featuring laser-directed energy weapons, as the US seems to be making waves in that department too. One that focuses on developing both weapons and tracking systems. They're currently in the early stages of testing, but with three of the world's most powerful weapons development companies, Lockheed, Boeing, and Northrop, teaming up to get them up and running, it seems only a matter of time before these modern weapons are fielded by the Air Force and Navy. And there's more from the United States. General Atomics is also testing its Avenger unmanned combat drone, equipped with a Lockheed Martin Legion pod, capable of autonomously tracking aircraft and taking aim at them, which is sure to counter the high maneuverability of the Russian Checkmate. The tests have been taking place over the Mojave Desert in partnership with Skyborg Artificial Intelligence Initiative for more advanced testing scenarios, probably more challenging, in theory, than actual battlefield conditions. And back to the F-22 Raptor, which continues to seem like the best fighter out of American borders. The fighter's ability to travel as high as 60,000 feet in conjunction with the thin cold air and dark background at that altitude gives it some serious positional advantage to make it the ultimate spy while remaining invisible. It may be the final response to the Russian checkmate, but we'll have to wait a while to find out who the Grand Master is between these two nations in this metallic game of chess. The US and China had for a while been making all of the major military moves, and it's almost a relieving sight to see Russia as still a major force to contend with. Their new checkmate fighter is one way to make that statement clear as day. The fighter's mix of stealth, brute, reliability, and affordability is one that other fighters would have a hard time contending with. It's also satisfying to see that the fighter doesn't subscribe to trading speed for stealth, as in the mainly subsonic F-35. 
But one thing the Checkmate Fighter hopefully subscribes to is this YouTube channel, and we hope you do too. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. So hit the red subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling generous. And one last thing, which country would you root for as the United States' greatest contender, Russia or China? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And that'll be all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.